Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 Level Design Essential series. In today's video we are going to be introducing you to the content browser inside of Unreal Engine 4. So your content browser is essentially your way of accessing and browsing through all the different types of assets within your game. Now, these different assets are everything ranging from static meshes, materials, textures, particle systems, sounds, and a whole bunch more. Now, don't worry if you don't know what all of those are at the moment, we will be going into a little bit more detail into that later on in the series. What I will be doing in today's video, however, is showing you how you can access all of these different types of assets, search through some of the filter options to easily find what you need, and also showing you how to access the individual little editors for those type of different assets. So what I mean by that is, a static mesh will have a little editor window of its own, a particle system will have its own editor window of its own, and so on. But don't worry about that for too much uh, right now. Let's just go into working with the content browser. So first thing first, if you've got the normal layout of Unreal Engine 4, your content browser is going to be in the bottom left hand side of your screen here. And within this, you have got two panels. Now, if you don't, and your screen looks like this, if you press the little icon here next to filters that says show or hide the sources panel, just go ahead and click this and you will get your little tr uh, hierarchy tree of all of your folders within the game. Now by default, if you've just got the basic third person project, it should look like this. So you should have some folders. Now don't worry if your folders aren't exactly the same as mine, that doesn't really matter too much. But the important thing is that you can navigate through all of these folders to access some content. So for example, if I click on the starter content folder, you're going to notice that all of the folders within starter content have now shown up in my main view. And I can see those are the folders within by expanding the little arrow here next to starter folder and you can see we've got architecture, audio, blueprints, HDR and all of that good stuff within. And if I wanted to I can proceed to open up one of these little mini folders or by doing it on the left hand side or alternatively I can just double click over here. Now, the important part and why you'd use this side of the content browser is so you can see all the individual files. So, for example, if I go into my materials folder here inside a content browser, you can now see I've got all of these different materials. And these materials are essentially a type of asset that I can put onto an object inside of our game. So let me go ahead and show you exactly what I'm talking about. So right now I have this little building that we made in one of the previous episodes. It's got no color and that's where a material comes in. For example, if I want this building to look like it's made of steel or wood or anything like that, I would just click, drag and drop that on there. So let's choose steel, click, drag and drop it onto the surface that you want it to go onto. And do the same all the way around. Now it can take a little moment for it to load up but you can see we've now got a steel looking building. Or if I wanted to, I could change this to sandstone instead. Give it a couple of seconds to load up and it will make that change. And you can see here quite easily that this is the purpose of your content browser, finding the assets that you need and then putting them to use inside of the game that you're making. Now, what I did mention earlier is that you have individual little editors for each type of asset. So for example, if instead of just dragging and dropping and using my material, I open this up, give it a couple of seconds to load, and opening it up is just as simple as double clicking it, you can see that we get this little material window, and inside of here we can then change some of the properties of this material. Now I'm not going to go into the specifics of this for creating all of these materials just yet, as I don't want to overcomplicate you. We will be covering that in a separate video. But the important thing is, so things like static meshes, going into props as well, and just double clicking on it, these static meshes are essentially just objects. I can open up all of these different types of assets and I could modify them in here. So I could change things like collision or some of the properties, but don't worry about that. Now, like I said, we're not going to focus on the specifics. What we are going to cover is more so how to use the content browser itself. 
Now, one thing that you might want to do when you're searching through a big folder is you might want to name some of your files in a way that it's going to be easier to find or know exactly what they are. Now, yes, they have got colors at the bottom here, but it's not always so easy to see. So what you could do instead is use a proper naming convention. So these props, which are static meshes, have the name SM underscore door. And you can see it's the same on each and every single one of these. So that just tells us that it's a static mesh. And if I was to go into my materials, it's just M underscore basic wall, M underscore brick, and so on. So what you might want to do is with some of your assets, if you've created a new one, right click, rename, and then from there, you can change the name and make sure you know what it is. Also, while you right click an object, you have a bunch of asset actions. You've got things like edit, duplicate, save, delete, and so on. I wouldn't really worry about the rest of them too much. We'll cover those in a bit more detail. But from here, you can duplicate objects, save objects. And one thing that you really want to get yourself into the habit of doing is making sure you save your work. So you can either save it manually from the content browser by clicking a specific asset, or just press save all over here within your content browser, and that's gonna make sure you don't lose anything. So, what we could also do to help us find assets is go into our starter content folder, go to filters, and we can tell it to only show us specific things. So if we don't wanna worry about anything other than static meshes, we could choose static meshes, and this is going to show us every single static mesh or object rather within our folder or I could do the same I can tell it to show us particle systems and static meshes and you can see we've now got things like explosions and sparks and using these are really really simple you just click drag and drop it into your scene just like that and you can see we've now got some sparks bear in mind the shaders are still compiling but that's just Unreal Engine uh, just basically loading up all the textures and stuff and you can see that little number in the top left Now that's pretty much everything that I wanted to show you for the content browser for today It's just some simple usage which is clicking dragging finding the stuff that you need and some proper naming conventions So once again guys go through some of the files that you have in the content browser Try play around with them experiment with them and just have some fun Thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep creating. Your boy Virtus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.